What up, world? It's Mac. Tell me something slick and make it stick. Yes, sir. You know it. I'm back. Hey, it has finally happened. I got my guy in the building. God damn it. I don't need the Wall Street Journal no more. I don't need Forbes. I don't need Inc. I got, God damn it, the black one Buffett is what I call him. My dog, Mr. Champ Bob is in the building. How you feeling, Champ? What's good, baby? Big salute. How you? I'm good. I'm happy to have you. Man, listen, y'all, this is going to be a little bit different. Get your cigars for sure, but get your pen and get your paper. We're going to talk about financial literacy. We're going to get to the journey of how Champ got there. And who knows? Champ might, you know, I, I might even give him to give me his top five rappers of all time. Who knows? You know how it goes, Cigar Champs with Matt. We might get into that. Sit tight. We'll be back in a second, baby. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button because you're going to like this one already, damn it. Champ is in the building. How you feeling again, Champ? It's good, baby. I'm feeling incredible right now, man. You know what I mean? It's time to talk to the people, so I'm here front and center. What's up? Hey, man, why your face looking so damn small, man? What the hell you doing over there, man? You you looking all, all lean and what, what, what's happening with you, bro? Yo, listen, since I got back from Afghan, Okay. I've just been on this journey, man, with um, just tapping into self, man, trying to reach my highest potential. And I, I said to myself, you know what I mean? If we're going to do this and, and uh, we're going to be in front of the people, you got to look good while you're doing it, but you also got to feel good. You know what I mean? So we we, we do this uh, we do this thing called OMAD, one meal a day. You know what I mean? So I fast, fast throughout the day, hydrate properly. You know what I mean? I get my herbs and minerals in, but, you know, one meal a day and we just rock, man. We exercise and now we... You know, we 52 pounds down. We looking good, feeling good. <laughs> 52? Yeah. 52? Two, yeah, 52, bro. Man, salute, man, salute. Chan. So how long did it take you, bro, to do that? It was like about, about six, seven months? So what, what was the process? How long did it take, bro? Yeah, it's it's kind of wild, man, because I, I didn't um I didn't track everything like I should have. But time-wise, I mean, probably about four months total, you know what I mean, for me to lose that much. But the, the crazy part was I was already detoxing before then. So, you know, once you detox and you get them old toxins and that waste about your system, you know what I mean? It, it kind of clears the pathway for your body to be able to react to eating one meal a day. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It's, it's, yo, you looking yeah. lean yourself. I, I see you down. I know you down right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm down 45. I didn't get the 52. I, I'm down 45, though, man. I, uh, Let's go. You know what, Chant, what did it for me? When I saw myself on Queens Court, I did that TV show. I said, look at your fat ass up there. Now, you know you should have locked off them damn pounds on camera. That's what I told myself. I said, Mac, now you know better than that, man. But I was, Champ, I was partying. I was in, living in my home in the Dominican Republic. I was not thinking about no damn TV show. But, man, it motivated me to get 45 down. And I also do Oh Man one meal a day as well, bro. I only eat from two. To, to to three every day, man. And I tell you, I got more energy and I'm I'm hydrated, man. I'm a gallon of water. I'm on the same mission, bro. Absolutely. Man. Listen, yeah. bro, you're looking magnificent right now. You at your fighting weight. Hey, you still I'm you still with good money. You was good money on the camera, man. I, I seen you, you know, I tapped in, had to support you. you I know appreciate what you. I did appreciate your, you did your thing on that joint, you know what I mean? Brought some life to the cast. Hey man, I was saying something slick, making the stick, baby. That's what I do. That's the <laughs> Mac way. I wouldn't expect nothing else. Tell me, man, the reason I wanted to, you know, get you in here, bro, because first and foremost, let me laud you for what you're doing. And you're always giving daily updates to the people for about financials. And our people historically have been, man, devoid of financial literacy. And we're going to get into that because that you're passionate about it. And anybody do something as much as you do and that the content you kick out is written. And you be. Breaking news. Hey, uh, Bank of America just did this. Don't put your money over it. I mean, champ be on it. Breaking news. I mean, yeah. so you're really passionate about it. So 
I really just want to tell you, man, thank you. And the purpose is to come here and educate. We're going to have a little fun first. We're going to get to that portion of who Champ is. So take me back, Champ. You from uh, you from New York, correct? Yeah. All right, man. Take me back to the origin. What part of New York you from? That's a big ass state, man. What part of New York you from, bro? Absolutely. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back even further. So originally I was born right now I'm in Georgia. You know what I mean? I'm I'm here with my family. So I ended up moving here probably about four years ago, right? Okay. So originally I was born here, Fort Gordon in Augusta. You know what I mean? I don't know nothing about it. You know what I mean? But shout out to Augusta and all that. So my father, I'm a I'm child of um I'm the baby first of all. You know what I mean? But um. My father was stationed uh, up there. So my mother ended up having me. She couldn't travel. So my mother ended up having me here in Augusta. So right after, you know, we left, um, been all over, Chicago, North Carolina, you know what I mean, Texas, all over, right? And um, something about here, you know what I mean? Mm. Something about Georgia just always had a pull on me. I used to come out here and party from time to time when I was a little younger. Um and something, it was just something about being in the A, man, just around beautiful black people, man, people getting to it. The energy was here. And it's a way better quality of life than New York and Jersey. So I said to myself, you know what? I moved back and, and I, I really shouldn't have, but that's a, a, a topic for another day. You know what I mean? But I had moved um, back to New York from North Carolina, right? And I, I'm, you know, I'm around my family and, and it just, it wasn't sitting right with me. I, got, I guess I got too comfortable with the, with the down South living. You know what I mean? The quality of life, the air is better. You know what I mean? Breathe, you, baby. you could breathe. You ain't worried about sirens, you know, at 24 hours. Yes. So it, it, it just kind of, I, I reached a level in my life and I just felt like this ain't it. You know what I mean? It's just too much going on. It's too much activity. I can't really focus. I can't tap into me. I'm like, yo, I need to go somewhere where I can kind of be secluded a little bit and be able to think. Mm -hmm. And, you know I mean? By the grace of God, you know what I mean? I end up coming back down here to the A, and I, I met my wife down here. So, right. you know what I mean? This is home now. You know what I mean? Nice, nice. Absolutely. So, champ, living, like you said, kind of being pops in the military, military, you know what I'm saying? I was in the Navy, so, you know, I fully understand military life, man. Absolutely. Um, you know, Living there, living, like you said, going to New York, big city. I'm from Chicago, as you already know. Parallel, we understand how the big cities rock. Yeah. It is a different way of life down here, man. And I don't think I would be who I am at this version had I stayed in the big city. I had to get away because I had to get somewhere where I could think and 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 and, and really develop myself, man. Oh, detached from the drama and the BS that come with the big city, bro. So I Absolutely. Think, Absolutely. I feel you. I feel you. Absolutely. So, all right, now take me through early years, man, because you know I I I do know you do got an affinity for rapping. Now I, I ain't gonna ask you to spit no bars. Or this is not the platform right. for that. That's another topic for a different day. But right. tell me about your passion as an artist, your music. Where did that was that young chant? Where did that come from? Yeah, so actually, I've been recording music since I was nine years old. Nine years old live studios actually recording records pinning my own bars everything so i i've been around you know i've been around rap and hip-hop my whole life you know what i mean so my mother uh, you know come from i come from a musically inclined family my father he played the instruments he played the drums mm. you know my uncles they played the bass you know things like that so they had their bands my mother's side they're all singers you know what i mean so naturally in the house is always it was old tunes playing and I would catch records and, and things, you know, at, the, at that age, I'm young. So I ain't really grasping how impactful these records are. But it literally was shaping, you know, me my life. And I realized at an early age, I had that gift. I had a talent. And I just always wanted to be around music. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I picked up the pen, you know, probably six, seven years old. I'm writing nonsense. You know what I mean? I'm, you know, it ain't making no sense. But it's, you know, it's just me it's expressing myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when I got to that to that age, you know what I mean? People's like, yo, you really got a gift. Like, he gonna be a star. So my, my parents was like, yo, we're gonna support you. We want to start putting money behind you. So, you know, I started getting in the studio and I actually was recording records since eight, nine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So champ, is this something you still actively you still pursue on the side? Obviously, we know Skyden is, is your baby. Yeah, it's still something you still do on the peripheral. Absolutely, absolutely, day in day out. So it's you, you know when you're given a gift, 
it's your it's your job, you know what I mean, mm. to exhaust that gift, you know, mm. what I mean? so you don't have no more breath in your body. So mm. yeah, I never cared about you know having a deal and none, none of that stuff. I move like industry cats when I was you know when I was broke when I ain't have nothing, you know I was already moving with that type of confidence, that type of aura. It's it's what's in you, not you know what I mean, not this this extra stuff. I don't need you. We don't need all this stuff. We don't need yeah. chains. We don't need watches. We don't need none of this stuff. And I, it's cool because I'm the fly guy. I really like all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Don't Me get too. confused. But I, I also understand that, you know, we cover up a lot of things. You know what I mean? Mm. And that yeah. shit ain't it. You know what yeah. I mean? So now it's really about substance and it's about just tapping into who you truly are, being able to leave an impact on the world and the people, man. So Ooh. I'm still spitting these bars. I'm still talking that talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still what I do naturally being me, but you know, I, I also understand I'm at, at 38 years old. Um, I feel like it's more of an impact. Music is trash right now. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna just be completely honest. Music Call it what it is. Now is completely trash. Yes, you sir. got a couple people who spit bars and they and they got subject matter, but for the most part, we had a we had a space in this industry where it's just they're letting anybody become famous. It don't matter what you say, just as long as it's destructive. And it's and it's not really pushing the culture forward. Mm-hmm. That's what's that's what's getting signed. That's what's getting these multi million dollar deals. So I I just ain't really checking for it. I ain't tapped in for it. And I know that financial literacy, especially how the economy is now, being older and a little wiser, I'm able to see things. This is far more important than me spitting a couple bars. Now y'all gonna get that. You know what I mean? That the world is definitely gonna still get that. But I'm gonna show the world how to tie in your gifts with this whole new quantum financial system, this web three system, you know what I mean? All of this. So I'm going to show you how, how this is done. You know what I mean? Music coming out as NFTs, you know what I mean? Doing shows in the metaverse. We, we actually got a metaverse with Skyton Academy. So it's a lot, it's a lot that we got built, but we'll get into that. I know that's coming. Yeah. 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 That, but yeah, that's, we can't speed past. You said too many important gems and jewels of wisdom for the people. I, I wind back. We can't speed past the most important thing you said. I'll, I move with confidence in like industry cats. And the, the most salient thing you said, we cover up a lot of stuff with these jewels and these extra, all this design. And again, I'm a fly guy myself. You know, we two big fly dudes. You know what I mean? That's just how we rock. But the flyness is on the inside of us. There you though. go. There you go. Hey, it's I'm gonna pull a I was I'm gonna pull a bad one when I ain't got no money. I ain't got go. when I'm in a t-shirt, I'm gonna pull me a bad one. So there you go. I always move like that. But champ, I want you let's talk about that. Where does that confidence where does that come from? And for maybe for those who, who, who didn't grow up with that obviously love and structured family that you did, because that came from somewhere. What advice do you have, man, for those that's looking for that confidence in self and love of self? That's actually a great question. Truthfully, I was born with this. You know what I mean? Like my whole life, I did have insecurities. I'm not going to say I was always this confident, you know what I mean? This, this show of myself. But you you get to a point in life where you start to realize it's like, like you're really different. You built different. You move different. You know what I mean? You operate from a different paradigm than the common people, right? So hey. I'm, I'm a vigilant person. I'm, hy- I'm actually hyper vigilant. You know what I mean? So I pay attention to everything moving, everything around me. And in my household, it was all about love and believing in yourself. And and I had a beautiful mother, you know what I mean? Four foot 11, you know what I mean? Military, militant minded, you know what I mean? Like she she really got busy. But she poured a lot into us. And my mom, was, she was really, really big on family, man. And I think just the love that she poured into the household, you know what I mean? And then the, the discipline the structure, but my pops was, you know, real smooth, real, you know, real classy, suave cat. You okay. know what I mean? My, my pops, you know, E7, e you know what I mean? E7. I E7, e okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? And shout out to 82nd, you know what I mean? Out there in the Ville, I brag. Um, I he got he got busy, man. But, you know, my dad, he's um he's a man of few words, you know what I mean? Mm. But he, he was big on principles and instilling morals into us. And, and, and part of that was, was, you know, loving who you are, you know what I mean? You come from good fruit, you know what I mean? You 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 are it. And it's like, yo, from, from young, from a kid, it's just like, yo, I was born with that star power, but they kind of fine-tuned it and cultivated it. And, and you know, here I am today. You know what I mean? I was, listen, <laughs> I tell people this all the time. Like, 
I lost weight. You know what I mean? I'm still a big dog. I lost weight. I feel good. I'm confident. But when I was a kid, I was a fat ass. When I tell you I was the old fat chubby motherfucker, like, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what the only one shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it was one of those things where when you a big dog, this is this is one of those things a lot of people don't understand. When you a big dude, right? Speak on. You might not be the most attractive. And, and I'm not saying this for me, I'm gorgeous. But um, you know what I mean? For you know what I mean? For yeah, the actually, actually, we're talking about them other dude. We're talking about nobody over Absolutely. Here. Absolutely. So nah, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it straightforward. I'm gonna shoot from the hip. When I was when I was yeah. younger, I was a big dude, right? And I did understand that, you know, the the, the football players, the jocks, the you know what I mean, the suave cats that you know had a little muscle on them and all that. That was the quote unquote eye candy for the ladies, you know what I mean? So they they right, would get right. the play. So as a big dog, I had to come in from a different angle. One, I had to look good, you know what I mean? I had to make sure I kept myself groomed, you know what I mean, right. to the T. I had to make sure I was fly, you know what I mean? For a big dude, you know, you don't really got a whole lot of options. So you got to know how to <laughs> kind of put that thing together, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, man, they, ain't got, hey man, they don't do us right with the big and tall. Ain't too much in that damn thing, dog. They don't do it's, us right. It's all good. Thing. Listen. It's all good now because now you know we we ain't in the big and tall no more. Hey, you we know ain't what I mean? No <laughs> yeah, nah, but you know what I mean. Just just um, the icing on the cake was that was that smell good. You know what I mean? And I knew once you once you kind of got that aura with you and you smell Whoa. good and you just Man. got that that you know you got that thing with you that unexplainable it. Everything else is smooth, man. It, it fall right into your hand. And I, I'm a you know I'm listen. I'm an honest person. I'm a straight shooter, you know what I mean? But I, I'm a personable person. You know what I mean? I rock with everybody. So, you know what I mean? Like, I just, naturally, I'm charismatic. So, you know, I never had an issue with when it came to the to the ladies and all that. No, nah, no, nah, I, I I mean, I'm going to tell you something. And I've always proposed this. How many fly big dudes you know that was single? A fly big dude keep a woman now. A fly always. big dude? Because, check, always. we going to feed them. We're going to laugh. <laughs> we going to, see, see, check, we're going to eat the wings. Oh, those six pack boys, they didn't want to eat the hot wing. Oh, we're gonna eat the wings. Yeah, right. You, hookah, baby, what you wanna do? <laughs> yes, Tell sir. And we're gonna cuddle better with them women. Man, stop playing with them. A absolutely, man. Tell, I gotta say, you, you you bro, you dropped up a gem and a nugget. And I, I, man, would you tell the fellas, would you believe, champ, in 2024, it's still some men who don't know the importance of smelling good. Would you talk to champ? Just a brief yeah. <laughs> explanation on what smelling good has done for you, brother. Oh, my God. It's worth every investment. Of Listen. Go ahead, I, I'm out the game. You know what I mean? I'm, I know y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm happily married. I'm going to put, put that out there. He's happily, ladies. All right, yeah, go ahead. yeah. I'm, I'm going to put that on the table. I'm happily married to my beautiful wife. But listen, to this to this day, you know what I mean? I, I still move with the same notion of how important smelling good is. One, no woman wants a dirty man. You know what I mean? Mm. Period. They're going to size you up, even if they're not even looking at you in that type of you know, that type of light. It don't matter who you are. If you're of the opposite sex and you come in the midst of another woman or a group of women, they're going to size you up. What's one of the first things that they notice is one, how you look. They're going to check, oh. your, gonna check your foot game. They're going to check how your fit look, how you put yourself together. And then they also, they're going to be able to smell your, 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 you know, your cologne. You know what I mean? So you, one, you don't want to smell like the rest of the pack. So I'm big on, on imports. You know what I mean? A, a lot of are they parfums and all that. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. Yes, you know, sir. We don't do the toilets. We don't, we don't do those. No, 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 no. Yeah. We, ain't doing we, that. we don't do those. You no, know what I mean? No, all, sir. All the smell goods come with passport stamps. Hey, baby. Hey, from the Middle East. I want over there with the salt in them. I'm getting mad over there with the salt in crew. Yes, Listen. sir. Listen, you know, I'm heavy with the ouds, you know what I mean? And all that from Dubai. So, you know, we're we, we going to talk. We, hey, we're going we to have to swap notes because I'm going to see you some pictures of my collection. We're going to have to do a cologne review one day. I'm going to have to just do a whole show. Come on, let's do it. Let's make it a series. Let's give it up. All right, man. So, Jam, now we all right. So, went through the years, man. High school, back and forth. So, we finally settled back in, back coming down to the south, man. Now, you have always been an entrepreneur. Before, what was your first foray into business? Because again, before we struck gold with Skype, and there were other things that we did. Take the people through kind of your progressional steps as an entrepreneur. All right, so. Serial entrepreneur, right? So 
from from young, you know what I mean? I used to sell candy, right? That, that was my first hustle was selling candy in school. Yes. You know what I mean? Then I graduated to, you know, we mowing, we mowing yards, you know what I mean? Yes, so we bought the snow in Chicago. It was shoveling snow in all, Chicago. All of that, you know what I mean? All of that. I, I was in the shop back when they had the uh Caprini Greens. Man, you know come on, man. man. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm, I'm OG to the shot. Shout out to Shaw. Right. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? So used to used to cut grass and all that, but but formally my first uh first venture was uh retail, you know what I mean? It was a clothing store out in NC. Um, shout out to all my guys, shout out to Slim for the opportunity. That's my guy, man. You know, that was my first, I call it quote unquote, my first job. You know what I mean? It was called exclusive fashions, you know what I mean? Out there in um in the ville. Shout out to two six and right. you know what I mean? Out there with, with Cole from, you know what I mean? Right. Out to the ville. And we uh we had two brick and mortars out there. We had one on South Raleigh, and then we had another one across from uh Fayetteville State. That's my uh HBCU, that's my alma mater. Wow, yeah. You know what I mean? So we 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 ventured out there, and it, it expanded. It did pretty good, but just the market. What we what we was bringing was just a little bit too much for the demographic, and then um, some of the price points that we had, and some of the type of brands and garments that we had at the time, it was a little bit too forward for the town and for the area. You know what I mean? It probably would have did better in a larger city, but you know, you right across the street from a college campus. Only time people really coming through with money is when you know they're getting a Pell grants top of the year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Th them type of joints, but. For the most part, that that was um that was the beginning. Wow. You, you know what I mean? That was that was it. Um, I learned a lot. We went we went through a lot of uh, turmoil, mm. but it was a lot of it was a lot of growth that happened. You know what I mean? A lot of ill dope experiences, and they kind of cultivated to to get to this point. Mm. And um, Skyton, Skyton, this is this is my baby right here. So Skyton was formed uh, actually by my partner. Shout out to Steve. You know what I mean? Steve Bayonne. Um, he co-founded it, and the name is is a is a joint of his children, right? Skyler and Princeton, so Skyton Academy, right? Okay. So we we formed this. Um, he started this, right? And we had a conversation, quick conversation. It was, um, you know, his wife and I went to high school together. I was a freshman, you know what I mean? And it's it's wild how how this is divine, how this worked out. So I was a freshman. In, in high school and um, she was getting ready to get up out of there. And, um, you know, I'm super popular, you know what I mean? And one of her best friends was another one of my homies. Fast forward, we, you know, we always remain cool throughout the years. That's my brother, Chow. And um, Chow tells Steve about me. And he's like, yo, listen, this guy knows his, his stuff. This is my man, he, he all about crypto. Like you gotta have a conversation with him. So he shoots me a DM. We get on the line together. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? Tell him, call me. Let's let's chop it up. So we get on the phone and I'm not knowing what to expect. But when you really know what you know, you know what I mean? You, you, you kind of really shooting the shit. Yeah. So, you know, we get on the line and we chop it up. And within five minutes, literally, the Sky, it was Skyton Crypto University is what we started it off as. It literally happened from that first conversation. That's all it took. We both knew what we was talking about. Similar backgrounds. Both men of honor. You know what I mean? We we shoot from the hip, straight shooters. You know what I mean? But it's all about feeding the people. So when we kind of seen what we could do and what we could build and how how fast we could scale this thing, we knew we had something brilliant. So that's how Skyton Academy ended up becoming. You know what I mean? So now now you know the backstory to how quote unquote my baby was birthed. So champ, before we dive into the you know your baby man, uh, uh you know Skyton. It's important that you educate the people. What and, and, and I'm I'm part of the people. Me, I'm 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 I I do not understand crypto. I will be honest. I haven't delved much into it. Um, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that. I don't mind saying I don't know something. So yeah, I humbly yeah, yeah. ask you, would you explain to us the importance of our culture understanding crypto and how do we make money in it, man? If you don't mind. Too too easy, man. All right, so listen. I'm going to give you all the short and sweet, right? Because I don't want to bore you guys with all the extra technicals and the high level stuff. So I'm talking to you all surface level. All right. Cryptocurrency is nothing but a bunch of companies who are utilizing new technology that is going to improve the way that we've been transacting in the past. Okay. That simple, right? So you've got, you've got a bunch of tech companies who are identifying problems in the world. Mm -hmm coming up with new ways to solve those problems mm -hmm. and you can invest in companies who are 
spearheading this innovation, right? And then preparing us for the future. That's it. Uh, now that makes sense. Now that makes That's sense. Finally, somebody has explained to me the third grade, because I keep I need everything in third grade because I don't want to I don't miss it in third grade. That makes sense. A bunch of tech companies coming to solve grander problems, and you can invest in these companies to solve some large scale problems. God damn it, champ. That's it. My brother. Thank you, man. Damn. So uh, listen, this is what we do, man. Now I'm fired up. So now with Skype, man, I wonder what are the five pillars, man? Because I know there's a five pillars, man, you know, for the Skyden Academy mission. What are the five pillars? Because it's more than just finances. Y'all are whole, y'all have a holistic approach to y'all students. And I want you to kind of delve into deep, man, because this is holistic. It ain't just one aspect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So our five pillars um, at Skyden Academy are, of course, cryptocurrency, trading, health and wellness, mm -hmm. professional development, and personal development. Come on. So with those five pillars, what we do is we know that cryptocurrency is literally going to impact every industry that exists. But then you have to look at it, one, from a wide perspective and see that, all right, we've identified crypto is here to stay. You've got Fortune 500 companies, these big behemoths okay. worth billions and trillions of dollars. They are now here. They're investing in the same technology, these same crypto projects. They're forming partnerships and synergies with these companies, right? But then you have to identify it. All right, that's from the grand scale. Now look at it zoomed in. Who is Who are the people that's going to be investing into these, these projects and these companies? It's the people. You know what I mean? So when you start looking at the people, you have to understand... One, you have to impact the people first. Once you can impact the people, you can mm. bring the information to them. You can break down high level data, simplify it, lay it out on the plate. You know what I mean? And once you lay it out on the plate, you then have to understand it. It's going to take the mindset of each individual person to be able to absorb this because we don't hand, we don't hold hands um, for our students. That's not what we do at Skyden Academy. But what we do is we put opportunities in front of you. We put high level data in front of you. So when you're able to see these things, now you know it takes a certain type of person, right? Or a certain type of brain to be able to say, all right, boom, I'm no longer just going to hear something and let it go in one ear and out the other. I'm actually going to do something about it. I'm going to seize these opportunities. So you pair in data with mindset, you know what I mean? And then you got you to gotta dive into health and wellness. Because everybody's mental ain't always going to be right. You might have other stresses and the way you handle stresses and, and, and life's ills. You got to be able to kind of surpass that and grow through that, right? And there's old traumas. There's old triggers. Right. You know what I mean? People have ailments. So what we're doing is we, one, we want you to eat clean. You know what I mean? We, we teach you guys like, all right, we, mm. have, we have programs for people. We give recipes to, to people. You know what I mean? We, we deal in tinctures and, and minerals and herbs. You know what I mean? We put you on the black seed oil and, and you know, sea moss. And it's just so much things. It's like eating right in certain combinations and concoctions that's good for your mental health, you know, your gut health. And for those who don't know, you know, your gut health, that's your second brain. You know what I mean? So if your gut is messed up and you're eating poorly, now. your body not going to operate at optimal peak performance. And that goes for men and women. Mm. You know what I mean? Especially in, these day, in this day and age. You know, there's so many contaminants and toxins in the foods and in our plastics that we drink and water out of, all that's producing estrogen and men is making our men softer. And you know, we don't we don't got strong men out here, man. And, and we doing ourselves and our women a disservice, that's man. Fact. You know what I mean? Like these women need leaders, they need they need kings out here, man. So that's I understand, fact. I understand there's always gonna be um, you know, a disparity. It's always gonna be that that you know, that nonsense that they push, that agenda. You know what I mean in, in the media, but I, I'm I come from old school rules and principles, man. You know what I mean. You you love, you honor, and you protect. You know what I mean. And you lead. You do what you're supposed to do as a man. And when you do so, the women they follow. They right. they follow your lead. You know what I mean. They don't have no no problem saying, "All right, I'm gonna take my man pants off, and I'm a I'm gonna be in my feminine." You know what I mean. So with Skyton Academy, man, that's this is what we do, bro. Like we we attack we attack everything from a holistic place. And 
we just do this, man. And everything that we put in front of y'all, we've done it ourselves. We practice it ourselves. So everything is organic. We're not just talking. We're not just creating stuff to create it and sell you. That's not what it's about for us. You know what I mean? We we understand that it's a it's a change that's happening. And if we don't kind of spearhead this and we, we leave things to, to just be by happenstance, the world is going to continue to be fucked up. You know what I mean? So we we decided to create sure. something, an institution, right? A, a, an academy where we got like-minded people who's who's willing and able to sit in on our live talks, to listen to our deep dives, to be able to take that information, go out in the world, see things differently, you know what I mean? Adopt new perspectives and then be able to bring that same information and, and new data back to us, back to the group, back to the collective. You know what I mean? So now everybody's empowering one another. You know how powerful that is? That's impactful, bro. And that's and that's what we, we strive to do. This is this is not just about money at all, by no means. Yes, you I know you asked, like, how do you make money in cryptocurrency? This is deeper than just making money. You know what I mean? It it, it there's thousands of coins right now. You know what I mean? I could easily give you 10, 15 right now that, that'll literally give you life-changing wealth, potentially, right? Not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but from the research that I've been doing since 2015, Steve has also been in this game since 2015. Before we even knew each other, we was both on the same journey, being able to kind of navigate through data, figuring out what companies are solving, what problems, what coin or what project is associated to it, and then putting our money where, where it's supposed to go and watching it grow over the years exponentially. And it, it's that's that's it. That's the key. So what we do is we always tell guys, how you make money in crypto is one paying attention to people who are leading you, right? Where your where your data is coming from. We battle tested. We've been here long enough, right? We've been here through cycles and people to this day. It's twenty twenty four. They don't know nothing about crypto. Uh, I know you said yourself you're not you're not too versed in crypto. So think about that. You don't want somebody teaching you in twenty twenty four who just got into the space in twenty twenty four. You want somebody who's been through the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of cryptocurrency, and we have both been through that. I've made hundreds of thousands. I've lost hundreds of thousands. That's real. You know what I mean? It's it's real out here, but I'm able to tell you, you know what I mean, what the risks are, you know what I mean, what you should look out for, how you can protect yourself, how you navigate this space effectively and safely. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So this is what we do at Skyton Academy, man. Ooh. It's, it's, it's powerful, bro. Champ, that's, again, we can't, we got to unpack that suitcase, brother. When you, you stuff so many gems in there for the people, we got to unpack that. So, what I want people to take away and understand is that Skyton is not just about financial literacy. Yes, that's a component. That's yes, that's the sexy part of what everybody wants to hear. Oh, right. money. I get it. Right. But what you're talking about is personal development. You're talking about holistic wellness. You're talking about something that just gonna that's gonna benefit people from a 360 standpoint. Mind, Absolutely. body, spirit. And we have never had that out there for us. Now, right. I've never seen that for us. I've seen a lot, but I ain't never right. seen it. Now, Sam, there have been imposters, there have been con artists, and unfortunately, they have, have, have taken advantage of the unlettered and the ignorant. Right. My question to you, how do you ensure people that, hey, if I, champ, if I join, sign up for Skyton Academy, I hear you on Cigar Chats and Matt. You got me fired up, champ. I'm going to lose 52 pounds too, and I'm going to make me some money. That's How cool. do you guarantee people, champ, that they can trust you and Steve? With, because honestly, you guys are becoming senseis and stewards over people's lives, whether you realize it or not, from that holistic standpoint. And that's a that's a big shoot, but y'all that's got true. but y'all but y'all can put them feet. Y'all, y'all got the shoot. The feet to put it to, to wear those shoes. So my question is, how do you help? How do you answer that question for the people? So for one, that was an incredible question. Two, we're here because this is what we were destined to do. Like I told you, I had a gift. My gift was music to be able to paint pictures, to be able to tell a story, to tell an experience, whatever through words, right? That was my natural gift. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But because that was my gift. I was able to identify one, I'm, a, I'm well-spoken. I had to be educated, right? And in order to be educated and talk to the people in a way that they can kind of gravitate to you, 
they got to be able to kind of identify with you. They got to be able to tap in and know you real, you're a real person. So when I tell y'all, like, I lost money in this space, Come on. I got my head cracked in this joint. But you know what? I was able to say, you know what? If I can identify that cryptocurrency is going to change the world for everybody, we're, we're literally changing our financial system. Things will become all digital, right? So when things truly become digital, if this information don't get out to the people, our people, mm -hmm. right? From our people mm -hmm. who look like you and me, mm -hmm. right? We telling things from a different narrative because typically... We're the ones who always get shut out from this big wealth transfers. It don't never trickle down to us. Or mm -hmm. when, by the time we do get the information, it's too late. It's way too late. We missed Preach. the party. Preach. This, this PPP loan and all this stuff, this stuff been going on. They've been giving out these loans for, for years. They, mm -hmm. It just wasn't trickling down to us. Mm -hmm. When the pandemic happened, they didn't have no choice. They shut the world down. Right. So when they shut the world down, the information had no choice but to flow because everybody was home with idle time on their hands. They was able to, to sit down and be stationary and say, damn, I can really pay attention to what's happening to what's going on around me in the world. You was looking to the TV for information. So now you're able to see certain things. And then we got this. We got mobile devices. Right. So that made the world smaller. So now we on Instagram. We on Clubhouse. We on Twitter. You know what I mean? And these spaces are, are cultivated where everybody is able to share information in real time. So now when you aren't outside having conversations, high level convos with people, you miss this kind of talk. But being in a crib, being isolated, and, and this is sub you're being subjected to this on your timeline. Of course, you had the bullshit. You had the sexy reds and, you know, all that nonsense, and, you know, all that stuff. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I ain't dissing the, dissing the woman, but that ain't what I'm subscribing to. No, you know I mean? but when you. when you have real information that's that's coming across your ether, it's 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 a choice you got to make. It's either you pay attention to it or you let it blow right past you. You know what I mean? And that's the difference in somebody making a hundred dollars, thousand dollars, a million dollars, a hundred million to billionaire status. You know what I mean? There's real life people that's giving free gems and free information on these devices, but if you're not fucking around paying attention, mm. you're never going to catch it. Mm. So it's like when I was able to see like how impactful crypto was, I started to realize like somebody got to talk this talk to our people. That's a fact, bro. Somebody got to bring this real life shit to them because That's a fact, bro. cooked out here. And I, I, don't, I don't want that for nobody, man. So anybody that I can impact just from the sound of my voice, I'm telling you from from personal experience. Okay. You know what I mean, I didn't have a me. I didn't mm -hmm. have Steve. You know what I mean? In 2015, I was in a war zone. I was in Afghanistan, boots on ground in Bagram, learning this by myself. Wow. And a friend of mine, he put me on the cryptocurrency. He's like, "Yo, listen, this is it. This gonna change. This gonna change the game." He gave me that gym. He gave me the alley oop. I took it from there every day. All I, any time I had free time. You know what I mean? I was deep diving. I was researching. I was putting in the work, putting in my sweat equity, making sure mm -hmm. I was making my daily deposit so I could get to this point today. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't know that we were going to turn this into an educational platform, but I always knew it was something that I was responsible for and I had to get this out to the world. And now we're starting. To, I'm starting to kind of walk into it and I'm stepping into it. And two years in, like it's a lot of work. It's trying times. You know what I mean? And I got a partner. This guy... Yeah, I think I'm nice. I'm brilliant with the words or, or the information. Steve is a he's a monster, bro. He's a serial entrepreneur. He's you know, he's older than me, a little wiser than me. You know, what I mean, similar backgrounds, but he's able to kind of nitpick certain things that I do. Mm -hmm. that see, I have the potential to be even better. And it's always about the people. So the so the full circle to answer your question, bro, it's about accountability. You know, what I mean, it's really about accountability. We are two black men. You know what I mean? Educated. We hold each other to the highest standard. If I do something that is not in benefit of the people, I'm instantaneously getting checked. And it's not about ego because when you're on a mission that's this big, Come on. it's no room for egos. Egos die. You know what I mean? We, we the, Our egos are dead. So when we, we talk to one another, everything is all about accountability. So we can't 100% guarantee your 100% safety 
But what we do is we one pay attention to what's going on in the markets. You know, what I mean, we we giving you real life experience and we're always updating our curriculum. Always. It don't matter what's going on. When new information come across, we, we go right back to work. You see, we put it out to you on social media. That's so imagine what we do to our students, for our students. You know what I mean? It's there. It lives. So if we can't teach you every single day, we just got to make sure that we on our P's and Q's and holding each other accountable is how we do that. So that's that's how we keep you safe. Skyton is the only people who do that. You know what I mean? And I can vouch for that. We're not out here scamming. Ain't not, not a soul can tell you Skyton ever scammed anybody. We don't move like that. We don't operate like that. Mm. Damn, that's a that's a beautiful answer, man. But here's the thing. It's a passion for you. See, that's the thing that I want to highlight. It's This is a passion. This is your purpose. You passion. feel almost a calling, if so, so to say, that I'm meant to do this. And like I told you before, I lodge you because, yeah, there's a financial component. But again, you're we're talking about everything from a holistic standpoint to impact our community and progressively move us forward. We are always the last to the party. Absolutely. By the time we get that, that damn it, it's, it's hey, hey, they closing down. We're like, God damn, man, your bar closed. Y'all late, bar closed. Well, we didn't get the invite. Oh, yeah, well, hey, that ain't our fault. We've been open. Right. And what you're doing is blowing the whistle and saying, hey, guys, hey, 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 over here, this shit about to be the thing, and you ain't got to be late for this one. Straight up. Okay, champ. I'm a person. Let's say I'm a single mom. Mm -hmm. I was thinking a lot of, you know, a lot of women are, you know, they, they unfortunately they don't have that 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 Mac that champ to to steward the household, mm -hmm. to guide their household. They don't have that that leadership, but they still want to be financially solvent for themselves and for their children and grandchildren. How do you walk that person, that young lady, into the academy? And kind of, you know, give her a step by step, you know, a, a blueprint and so she can blossom. If you can give a, a maybe a brief synopsis. I know it's very granular yeah. in detail, but yeah. just a high level. Hey, I saw you on Cigar Taps and Mac Champ. I like everything you're saying. I got three kids. I ain't got a whole lot of money, but I want to make some and I want to become a better person. What do you do for that everyday woman? So easiest thing we tell people is first. Follow us on social media, right? You're gonna you're gonna figure out who we are. You're gonna see how consistent we are, how we deliver the content, how we deliver the information, and how we're able to take high level information and convert it so that it's easily understood and understandable for everybody, right? So you don't have to be you don't have to be a, a, a college graduate. You don't have to have your MBA and all that. Listen, I learned finance through crypto. Ooh. So to answer that question in whole, first things first, just follow us on social media. It's free. You know what I mean? The only thing it's going to cost you is your time. Mm. Right? So your, your time is the most important aspect. It's something that you can't get back, right? Come on so now. once you invest that time, that's when you know you are ready for the next level, right? We already prepared. We already got the products and everything ready for you. You know what I mean? And we're not here, again, we're not here to overcharge people. It doesn't matter your financial situation. That's what we are now at a subscription-based model. Wow. Everything that you need wow. is in the academy. You take it at your own pace. It's $50 a month. We only have three upsell products that's in there, and that's for an elevated learner. If you want to take things to the next level, but everything that you need on a base level to be able to, one, understand crypto, know how to operate, know how to protect yourself, know how to protect your assets, everything is in there health, wellness, mindset, everything. It's all in there for $50 a month. I just took my son, before this call, I just took my son to go get something to eat. I spent $43, right? 43 bucks for something for him and me. And this is something quick. Seven more dollars. That was all the information that I'm giving you and so much more. And it's at your, it's at your fingertips. Yeah, people average 60 to 70 bucks a month on subscriptions, man. Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, goddamn, before you know it, Prime, all that stuff you add up, man. You didn't, you. But my thing is this, though only $50. I'm going to just say only 50 bucks. You mean That's to tell me for only $50, they're going to get not just. 
<laughs> they can get access to this champ. So they can log on as much as they want, champ. At any they time, can... any hour, 24 hours a day, it's on you for $50 a month. And champ, they get access to the master class, to, to, to the meet. I'm going to call it the mastermind meetings for lack of better terms. That's it. They get access to all of that? And all of that. So every almost every Wednesday, we have what's called Dot Connect Wednesdays. Dot Connect Wednesdays are essentially free, right? So they started off as we take whatever's going on in the news, in the news realm, things that people don't necessarily pay attention to or catch. We are finding out this information. We bringing it back to the community. We making it relatable because this impacts everybody, right? So what bank might have a new partnership with another bank? What bank is adopting certain technologies that are cryptocurrency based or blockchain based? You know what I mean? Things like that. We, if we see the dollar. Uh, we, you got things like BRICS nations. I ain't going to go too deep into that, but you got BRICS nations. Everybody's moving away from a dollar, right? Okay. And they're using their own currencies to trade. So that was the one thing that gave the dollar power. But because these other countries are moving away from the dollar, they're all segmented into a new financial system. Mm. This new financial system is cryptocurrency. It's digital assets. You know what I mean? And this is how they're going to transact. All you did, they're, they're sending billions and trillions of dollars across borders for less than a penny. And in the, in the real world right now, that's happening with the dollar. It's more faster for you to get on a flight with a bag of money or pallets of money and fly it to that country than it is to send a wire transfer that takes seven to 10 days using a SWIFT system. I can send right now. I can send you a million dollars in three seconds or less, and it'll cost me probably less than a penny. That fast. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. You look at your phone, boop, it's there in your wallet. That's the problem. It's crypto is solving, right? There's projects. That, that's a problem. People want their money now, right? If I cash app you, you get your money right away, right? Yep. You want your money right away, Digital right? right that's the that's instant payments. That's what these type of problems are getting solved through blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. So when people want instantaneous settlement of their money or their data, exactly. right, they're able to do it. And you're investing in these companies that's less than a dollar, less than a hundred dollars for one coin, and you're seeing growth forty percent, fifty percent price swings, sixty percent, hundred percent price swings. And I could show you how to do this in trading. Right, we we use leverage, 10x, 20x, 5x, whatever, and I can show you how to basically. If you just want to keep it surface level, you could take a hundred dollars, invest it in Bitcoin or XRP or Ethereum, right? Let it sit, and, and let time do its thing. Time and demand do its thing, and you've made money in it. Champ, I I I'm fascinated by how well you and Steve put this thing together, man. Because here's what I like, and this is why. I want y'all to understand they truly did build this for the people because everything he's talking about, he's got something, he got something for everybody. There ain't no one size fit all. You saying, hey, Mac, if you a guy just got a hundred dollars a month, say, hey, 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 Chan, what do I do with this shit, man? I'm busy, Chan. What do I do with this crypto? I want to invest crypto. Mac, we got something for that. But if you a guy that said, Hey, I want to become a savant, I want to become an expert, you know, champ. I'm trying to get to your level. You got mm -hmm. a you got a program for them. Whatever their interest is, there is something there for everybody. Fact. All you asking is just show your ass up to the party. And I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play your song. That's I it. got your song. That's it. Wow. That's it. For fifty dollars a month. Yo, it's wild. It's wild when you when you put this in a perspective. Like we Damn. that that's that's something new that we just adjusted to, right? So before what we were doing was we had Everything was a la carte, right? Everything was individually priced. Mm -hmm. And we know, we, like I said, we're not here to try to take money from people, right? No matter how big or how valuable the information is, that's just not our thing. And then we were having to market each individual product through us, through our pages, nonstop. Gotcha. So now you don't know who you, even if you have a target in mind, you don't know who you're talking to because there's so many individual products going to individual people who are at different levels. So now we figured instead of us having to over market, you know what I mean, and, and do the most and, and having to put stickers on and, and on each individual product, why not just encompass all of this, 
we only have three products that segment it, right? That, that, that are a different price, but everything else inside of the Academy is $50 a month and you get unlimited access to it. You can watch it as many times as you want. You log into the platform, you have your own login. It's that simple. So if you wake up, you, you were just in a mood for some health and wellness and that's, that's your thing. You can sign up for all five pillars, but you can go right to health and wellness. You can go in there and say, you know what? I want to make a smoothie today. Let me see what, what smoothie champ made today. You know what I mean? So boom, I got the recipe for you. You know what I mean? You you want to get your Wim Hof in where you, you know, you do your breathing exercises or you want to take a cold plunge. We got advisements for that. You know what I mean? If, if certain meal plans, like we we have meal plans in there, there's there's just an array of things for every single person. And that's just one pillar. It's one category. So now when you're ready to make money, everybody comes in that you're on a cryptocurrency side. So you're getting spot calls it is when I'm able to go deep dive and I find a new project. You know what I mean? I do the, the 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 deep dive information for you, lay it out for you, and I tell you, all right, boom. If you took the foundation, which is part one through five, you know, based on the information that you sat through and you you learned, you now know how to do your due diligence. You know how to do your research on on a project, right? You got the criteria. Use what you what we taught you. Take this information, take this project, and dissect it. If you feel like this is something you believe in. Boom, go put your money into it. So we, we're giving you nonstop opportunities. And the crazy thing about it is, yes, sir. the time that it takes me to deep dive in a project, it, it doesn't take a lot of time, right? You just have to kind of know what you're looking for. Okay. All of that is laid out for you in the foundation. But I can give a project and I can tell you, go do the research on this. I've already done the research, so I'm already invested. I know what the project is about, what it's doing, and I'm sharing this opportunity with you. That's the brilliance in sharing information, sharing data by somebody who's knowledgeable and you're getting this in real time. And all of this for just $50 a month. I have people who've, I've dropped a spot call 24 hours. And I'm not saying this always happens, but I've had this happen. Yeah, right, right, I drop, right. drop a play, right, right. I drop a play, 24 hours later, it's up 38%, it's up 40%. So depending on what you invested in that moment, you've made, you know, I, I've had people make hundreds of dollars. I had people make thousands of dollars, tens of thousands within 24 hours or for one play, depending on what you invested. And we do this all the time. This is this is a constant for us. And that's just in the cryptocurrency pillar. Trading is a whole different beast. So that's once you learn way. trading, Steve gives you play calls literally every day or every other day, six to seven calls in a day. And people are making 100%, 300%, 1,000% in one play in a matter of a couple hours like that. And all you have to do, we, we're giving you the entry. We're giving you the exit. We're giving you the targets. We're giving you the stop loss. Everything that you need to be able to execute a trade after you've learned how to really do this, and we offer that for you, all for $50 a month, you're great. getting far more value than what you pay every month. Hell it's yeah. not, about, not about the money for us. We want y'all to eat. We want our people to really be out here chewing because the world is changing. People are losing their jobs. We don't have access to, to loans like we used to. The money's drying up. It ain't flowing like it was. You remember you were seeing everybody buying new Rollies and Lamborghinis and all that during the pandemic, right? It's over. With. Yeah, it's over. And, and people don't people don't understand. They gave the money out then, right? Mm -hmm. 2024, we got hyperinflation. Gas prices is crazy. You know what I mean? Your food prices is crazy. You know what I mean? You go to the pump, you go to the store, you're going to feel it. It don't matter what it is. Everything around you has raised. But have you gotten a raise? Ooh. Have you gotten more money? And if you haven't gotten more money, now you're starting to feel it. You know what I mean? You're starting to feel it. So it ain't it ain't staked in as, you know, five out of the seven days out the week. You know what I mean? Now you got to start to cut back. You're scaling they, back some. They call this the give back period, and people don't understand that. They're, like, trying to figure out what's going on around me. You know what I mean? But this was planned. So you just got to figure out how to make money outside of your normal nine to five. Because if you don't, you're going to find yourself on universal basic income and you have to do what they tell you to do. You're going, you're going to literally get an allowance from the government. 
And when they tell you, you got to go get a new shot, you got to go do that. Mm. If they tell you to jump, you got to ask how high and jump that high. So we don't want our people going through that. You know what I mean? It's, it's over for that. Right now, we in the midst of the greatest wealth transfer that's ever about to occur. And if you guys don't listen and take heed when I'm telling you this, I promise you, you're going to be in one or two categories, the useful or the useless. And the useless are the people who do not have access to financial instruments like this, to knowledge like this, to information like this. And you're literally just going to be a worker slave. And it's, it's so sad that, that I even got to say that. But it's people real. need to hear the truth. You know what I mean? The, the truth tellers, we don't get paid. You know what I mean? We don't get paid from that. No. You know what I mean? Our money come from what we generate, eating off the land. You know what I mean? Going out here hunting. Every day. You know what I mean? This is yeah. what we do. And it's like, yo, when, when people, people rely too much on your job, you start to realize like technology is actually going to start replacing a lot of people. You got robots, you got artificial intelligence. So people that's doing low level jobs or, you know, not even low level jobs. And this is not a dig at nobody. You know what I mean? I'm all for somebody working and hustling. I salute. You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do to feed your family. But I'm just telling you that innovation and technology is literally about to replace common jobs. Everything is about to become digital. They're about to tokenize real estate. You know what I mean? So now all that closing the deal, you know, I take 30 days. There's a bunch of paperwork processing, processing. They're doing all of this through smart contracts and technology. I agree to one side of this. You agree to one side of this. Right. Done. We done. Middleman is cut out. You know what I mean? Fractions of a course. Now you're giving people from across the world access to be able to invest in homes and properties here in the United States or anywhere else. Like that. And then you, I can have fractional ownership. I can own a piece of this home, a piece of this building. And whenever I want to sell my part, it ain't going to take 50 different owners to be able to tell me when I can and can't do something. When I say I'm ready to sell, I say, all right, boom, smart contract. I'm ready to sell my portion of this property to this person. He sends his bread. This person receives the bread. The, the smart contract acknowledges that both parties have done their part. Transaction finished. So now think about this. People who, who process in paperwork in the, in the meantime, right, traditionally, their job is gone. You at risk. And that's just one example. It don't matter what you do. Artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, cryptocurrency is going to replace damn near 90% of things that exist right now. And this is just right now. You know, as time progresses, things get even smarter, even better. You know what I mean? So correct. more people are then at risk. So I'm I'm telling you guys, before this shit happens again, before we get a repeat of 2008, when we had the financial collapse, Ooh. you got to do something now. Because this happened, and it's going to be work this time. So I'm not a person. I'm not here to fear monger. I'm not here to, to spread fear. No, no, we, no, we're not. That ain't what you're getting, champ. Yeah. Talk the I, truth. I, I want you guys to understand where we at right now, present day, you've got banks that are stressed due to fractional uh, reserve banking, right? Mm -hmm. These banks don't have to have your money on hand, right? I just did a post on this on Instagram the other day. There was 4,000 banks that were just analyzed. Out of those 4,000 banks, 282 banks are stressed. Right now, they're functionally insolvent. That means that these banks don't have enough money to be able to pay you out your money when you go to the bank and say, I need 10,000 of my own money. Oh my. I need 5,000 of my own money. That's in my bank account. And they, they can tell you, we don't have it. We don't have it. You can't get your money. I, we have to order it. Y'all hear that? Wow. They telling you, we don't have your bread. The reason being is because a lot of people don't even know this. Right. So because of fractional reserve banking, you don't have to have your money on hand. They take your money, your deposit. They literally write this on a ledger. It's digitized. So when you look at your bank account on your phone, you're like, all right, my bread is there. You know what I mean? You can swipe your card and send it and all that. But when you go to the bank and you want that in fiat, you want that in cash, they don't got it. You know why? Because that is just numbers on a ledger. Your actual money that you deposited, that money got sent off somewhere else. And they making money on your money and then telling you that they don't have your money to give to you. That's and it's been game. going on for years. It's a cold game, champ. 
listen, they got to learn how to play it. But somebody got to tell you the rules. I guess I'm the I'm the guy who I'm the pamphlet. Yeah, Jim, we got a how, how are we doing on time, man? I got some few more questions, brother. But this is just too right. impactful to the people. That's right, bro. Uh, cause I would I would be remiss, man, to leave some meat on the bone because you're giving too much information. Yeah. Jim, I want to address what you said. You're not trying to scare anybody. See, my thing is this: people only fear change when they're ignorant. You don't fear change when you're educated at all. And, and you're giving people an opportunity to be educated and prepared for a change. You get excited when change comes and you your ass got a plan. You say, man, I'm ready, baby. I'm Let's about go. to eat. Let's go. But you get nervous and scared when change happening and your ass fell asleep at the wheel and champ told your dumb ass to get your ass in here and invest and get ahead of the curve. I called your ass dumb. Champ didn't do that. I said it. I said it. But I'm just saying, he can't say that. I said it. Get your black dumb ass in there and go invest with Champ. Now, yeah. Champ, let's 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 talk about this, man. Now, this is a lot. This thing gets so deep. What you're almost doing is damn near, and this is is like the damn of the, the book called The Spook Who Sat by the Door, who watched man and studied and learned all the game and yes, soaked sir. it all up. One of my favorite books. Absolutely. Said, you know what? Yes, I'm sir. gonna go back and and, and feed the hood with this information, and then whoop, whoop, we about to take over. Yes, sir. Tam, this is powerful, man. Um, I, I, it's more what Skyden is, and and respectfully, is more of a movement than anything. It ain't even fair to call this an academy. Is it? That's you got to label it something, but because that's the that I guess that's more category friendly. But it's really a movement, man. You're yeah, moving people absolutely. forward. So I want to talk about a little bit, Champ, NFT, different metal, metaverse. People are curious about that. Just okay. like you explained to me in all the 36 seconds, Mac, what crypto is. Can you explain to us and educate us, bro, on what metaverse and like you were saying, concerts and FTs and how can we position ourselves to make the bag in that arena, Champ, if you don't mind? Easy, easy work. So, so in, uh, uh, NFT, right? Is just proof of ownership in a digital form, right? So it's it's a unique identifier. So if I've got matter of fact, matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna make this easy. So right. Matt, you released a book called Ghetto Diamond, right? Yes, sir. It was a memoir, right? Yes, sir. Hundred percent. And actually, I got him here. Oh, shout out to Get On Diamond, my guy. Look at that. <laughs> I told That's you, so baby. I, I support, man. This is this was brilliant, right? Thank so you. this book right here, you could have turned this tangible item into an NFT, right? You could have sold this, right, on the internet, right? There's various platforms that you could have sold this on. If you wanted somebody to be able to purchase and you only had a limited amount of quantities. Each book had its own number. Let's say you only had 50 copies of this book ever made, and you sold these for $1,000 a piece, and each person bought a, a, a book. So you had 50 NFTs that went out, and everybody had their own unique identifier, right? Now they can take this item because you implemented smart contracts into your NFT, Anytime somebody went to resell their book that they put, bought from you, you would still get a percentage. You could, oh. you could you could program it to where you get 5%, 10%, 15%, 10 whatever. So anytime somebody sells it, you still get kickback after they originally bought it. So when they bought it from you, they paid that bread to buy it from you, right? Then every time they resell it, you still get kickbacks because that's what you wrote into the technology. So think about it like this. Where would I buy this book from? Barnes and Nobles, right? That's a fact. So if if Barnes and Nobles was the store, the physical store that I can physically walk into, when we're talking digital terms, I can go get this book from the metaverse. And with Skyton Academy, we got a partnership with a wonderful company who has built out cultivated and curated spaces 
where you can literally turn your metaverse space into an online store, right? This is the new way that companies are building brands, building their, their company and scaling it, right? They're preparing for the future. The future is you don't need a brick and mortar. You don't need a, a physical store to walk into to be able to buy product. You do this every day. You go right online and you do online shopping, right? So in the future, you've got this, this metaverse space where literally on the wall, you've got clickable products and services that you can click on. People can make their purchase. They can purchase it in, in you know debit cards, credit cards, cryptocurrency, whatever they need to do. And the transaction goes through just as it would in a normal brick and mortar store. But this is all the digital form. So I know you've got listeners right now. You've got some some women that follow you, right? Yeah. And they're, they're subscribers to the channel. So awesome. these women, they might offer a service or let's say they sell lashes or they sell, you know, hair. Yeah. Okay. Right. So instead of them having to have a physical brick and mortar store investing in actual real estate, you can literally cultivate, uh, uh, come through Skyton. You can build build out your, your metaverse space, add your branding, add your logos, build it out however, however you want it done, depending on your budget, and literally send people to the metaverse to be able to purchase your stuff. And you don't need an Oculus. You don't need a headset. Only thing you need is Google Chrome. You can build you out an avatar. You can make the avatar look just like you. And you can be able to run around through the metaverse and go into different spaces purchasing, engaging with different people. Yeah, I think about it like this. All right, because I know this is a lot, but think about it like this. No, this is good. This is good, brother. This is good. The, that same woman who is selling weave mm -hmm. in the metaverse, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She could be having a training course. She has the capability to be able to turn on her camera through her avatar. You can see what she's doing. She can put on the class to anybody who is around the world and they don't need to be physically in the building with you. So think about how much of a scale that is for your business. Now the possibilities are unlimited. That's the power of technology. That's the power of what we're doing at Skyton. We're removing the glass ceiling. We're making it disappear. The job is to feed the people, put you on with new ideas, new technology, new innovations, so that you can find ways to plus up your business. That's what we do. Oh! God, man, kudos to you, man, and your man Steve for that, man. I, I, brother, this wow, wow, and this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. This is just yeah, the beginning. I, I promised I wouldn't keep you, but you know, man, when it get good, it just get good, man. I, let's I, go, bro. Let's talk, man. I'm on your time. Let's rock, bro. Now, what's next, man? Skype. What's what? What's our? We in Q2 now. Walk me through what we got planned. And what's coming for Skype, man? What can the people be looking forward to Skype? What you want to share? What you can share? Obviously, you know, Absolutely. things are clandestine that you can't share right now. But what you can let the people know, man. Absolutely. So right now, what we're doing is um, we're just trying to bring this information to as many people as we possibly can. So right now, what we're doing is we're on a, a road tour. You know what I mean? Podcasters, people contact us and say, listen, I have a, a a big group of listeners, subscribers. They need this information. I don't have the data. You do. We need you. So right now, we, you know, we, we're, we're venturing out and we're actually stepping outside of the academy because we've built the products so that all of the students can learn and we don't have to physically be there, right? Video form, visual form, it's all inside the academy, right? They, they're taken care of and we are still adding to it. More courses, more curriculum on the way. But now it's to a point where We've prepared for the future. The whole gist of Skyton Academy was to create a product that we can teach everybody what we need them to learn, empower them, right? And then us physically can step away and scale it. We built the product in advance. So we know crypto is going to reach mass adoption by about 2030. So we got from now to 2030, to be able to get as many people empowered and fed as we possibly can. Right. So now we want to make sure that we're reaching out to, to different dynamics, different areas, you know, preaching this word, you know, and giving them this talk, this truth. And um, ultimately what we want everybody to do is just come be around a, a group of like-minded individuals because everybody had to start from somewhere, right? So we just want everybody to be able to come to one place and be the one-stop shop. We're the Netflix of learning is what I call Skyton Academy. 
Netflix of learning. That's it. For fifty dollars yeah. a month, man. That's it. Only. That's it, bro. Fifty dollars a month. Bro, here in Atlanta, man, Atlanta, man, you can't even. Th if you think you're gonna go outside, it's gonna cost you fifty dollars a month. <laughs> hey, champ. Just to think you're gonna go out, it's fifty dollars right. already. Just Absolutely. to think about it, it's an expensive thought. Just to think about going out in Atlanta. Absolutely. Man. Are you and again? I I, I don't I don't want to. This ain't a I got you moment, man. If you don't have anything prepared, is there any? I don't know high level slides, man. You you can show real quick. If not, I will bring you back again. I didn't know. I didn't. I know we might not prepare for that, but it's just so damn dynamic, man. I was like, damn, man. I should have had this man give a few slides, man. But if not, yeah. I'll bring you back, man. I bring you back. Yeah, no, nah, we we could definitely do it, and I, I would love for Steve to join us on the next one, so we you know okay. you can see that you you guys can see the full scope. Okay. But right now, I I don't have the slides. I had slides, but yeah. you know what I mean. I just yeah. said, you know what, I'm gonna sit them down, and you know we'll we'll just free flow and, and talk this one through. Yeah, and, and, and you have something for everybody to be able to join and and at least subscribe and be able to catch the the, the you know the information as we give it. And then they can join the academy on their own time once they kind of buy in. But we've got a, um, a SMS link I'm going to send to you. So whenever you put the playback up, yeah, you can drop it in the description below so everybody yeah. will have it. Yeah, I was going to say, make sure you give me all the information, where they can find you at. All, I mean, I got your IG, obviously. But, yeah, you know, Skype and things of that nature. Jam, man, I, I'm I'm blown away. I'm still stuck on $50, man. I, I mean, the Netflix <laughs> got the financial narrative. I mean... I, I, I'm stuck on that, dog. I know what I spent. I'm a cigar lover. I'm like, damn, that ain't nothing, man. That's three cigars and shit. I, I done blew that. That's it, bro. That's it. Bro, in, in, in closing on Skype, man, I think if there's anything else you want to add before we... I'm going I'm to end it on a fun note, man, with some music, but there's anything you want to put a button on this before we transition out of Skype. Anything else? Yeah, absolutely. Um... So I keep this short and sweet. So at Skyton Academy, our biggest thing is impact, right? We lead with love. We lead with value. I don't care where you guys get the information from, even if it's not from us. What I do strongly suggest is that, one, you get educated. Two, you learn it. Learn how to operate in that space correctly and safely. And you execute. That's it. I'm going to leave it right there because the biggest thing for us is making sure that everybody eats. But there's a way that you got to do this. You can't just jump out there and say, listen, I want to invest in crypto because you don't know what to do. You don't know what exchanges to use. You don't know if the exchange is safe. You don't know if you're going to be able to withdraw your crypto off that exchange. None of that stuff. Right. So there's there's literally layers of information that, and things that you got to learn. But it's just like anything else. You had to do the same thing when it came to learn how to ride a bike. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And this is financial literacy. There's people that you aren't supposed to trust. You know what I mean? There's wolves in sheep clothing that come to you and present well. I could be one of those people. You know what I mean? I'm not. But honestly, I'm telling you this out of love. There's come people on. out here who come prey on, on you. Come you know on. what I mean? So if you don't have a product that's for sale, you are the product. Come on. And these, yeah. people, these people are pushing lifestyle on you. You know what I mean? They're showing you these private jets and, and mm -hmm. lavish cars and mm -hmm. all of this stuff right here. And what it is, is truthfully, you paid for it. Mm -hmm. But did you get anything in return for it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you hop on the $50 a month, we're not riding on private jets for $50 a month. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you get a whole month. So if you sign up for a month and decide, hey, this ain't for me or I, I don't have the bandwidth to be able to yeah. learn this. That was $50, but you still got a whole month of time to be able to log in as many times as you want, got all the information that you needed across five different pillars for $50. And you're free to come and go as you please. We show you how to cancel as soon as you sign up. See, champ, but my thing is this, man, and I challenge anybody that under the, you know, under my voice, I employ everybody, you know, for $50 a month. It, hey, how can you be the opportunity just to try something out that could potentially that's gonna make you a better person? Not just more a better, not just more money. That is a component of it. But we're mm -hmm. talking about making you a better person. So for fifty dollars a month, 
And y'all know damn well. We we'll go we'll go to Louis, we'll go to Gucci. I ain't all the designers and act the fool. And here it is. You got two black men that's really, you know, evangelizing the importance of financial literacy and you know, wholeness, wellness, and goddamn man, and they're really taking the time to really care about us. Yeah, of course, it's a business, and every business has to survive, but it's a business that is built on purpose, y'all. And so I want to laud you, man, and your man, man. I, I brother, I, I'm blown away, man. I got way more than my ass is bargained for with this one, man. I, I I mean, I always call you the black one buffet every time I see your updates. I said, there you go. I said, look, what do you got today for me? I said, so I don't even go. Hey, just a look. The truth. I don't go and walk you. I just wait for Champ to drop something. I said, oh, Champ, they take the money out of that. All right, but let me go. <laughs> Let's go. Not with Champ. Yeah, can you shout the IG out real quick? Because I'm missing. What's your IG, Champ? Absolutely. So it's it's at Big Champ, the boss, underscore, underscore. And I'm verified. So, you know what I mean? Don't worry about, you know what I mean? You're going to see a bunch of fake pages. That's why I tell you, you got to be careful who you follow. But, you know what I mean? I'm certified. My page is verified. Just look for the blue check. You'll see my icon up there. And, you know what I mean? You're more than welcome. And then, you know, to anybody who wants to just go, that's my personal. Um, Steve's is um, marketing underscore guru. Okay. It's his IG. And then the Skyton page is Skyton underscore academy. But so, yeah, if, they, if they go to your page, they can navigate and they'll be able to find everything else from there. So absolutely. Not, so not, so not else, just get the chance page. All right. Yeah. Well, all right, Sam, man. I, hey, brother, you didn't drop a lot of jewels. We're going to have to get you back with the slides. Because because in full disclosure, Champ asked me good. He said, Matt, you sure I don't need no slides today? I said, no, nah, Champ, we're just going to have an easy going hot, you know, keep it simple. He said, Matt, you sure? I said, Champ, let's just talk. All right, Matt. So that's not on champ. Yeah. <laughs> on Mac, y'all. It's all it's all good, man. But I'm I'm know, here, man. I didn't know bro was gonna bring it the way he did, man. I knew he was gonna bring it, but god damn, he brought it, man. Champ, <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here with this. I need your top five hip hop artists of all time Ooh. and why. You know I don't get nobody out of here without asking them their top five. Your top oh, five. Man. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Whoa, all right, so. Top five, big champ. Um, I'ma say KRS one. Ooh, nice. I'ma say Big L. But give us why, champ, for each one though, if you don't mind. For I, I want to. Yeah, each one. Right. Why KRS one one though? Why him? All right, so KRS, KRS, he's the teacher. You yes, know sir. what I mean? K, KRS is one of the pioneers, and he the way he orates and the way he puts them words together. It's unmatched. It's unparalleled. You know what I mean? And he came from a place of of, of pure hip hop, pure love. You know what I mean? So KRS, and even to this day, not only does he still live with his rhymes, you know what I mean? He's still teaching. That's he funny. literally is the teacher. So you you got to kind of give him his crown. You know what I mean? You have to. Right. Um, Big L is one of my favorite MCs out of Harlem. Yeah. Big L, he, he his life was cut short, um, but Big L was a lyricist, man. He was... He was fly, you know what I mean? He was street dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he was able to kind of merge that that those worlds together and do it in a way that was so witty and charismatic. Yeah, he was. He was fly with it, you know what I mean? L L would have he would have been a, a problem had he still been here today. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna go Jay, of course. All right. Um, you know, I me mean? shout out to Brooklyn. Okay. Um, Jay, Jay is different, man. Jay, his his entendres. His yeah, wordplay, no. you know what I mean? He elevates the culture, you know what I mean? And Jay never was known to be a fly dude, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But he was just so grown in in, in the way he talked that talk. Mm-hmm. He had that influence. He came in with that aura, you know what I mean? Everything he said was believable and he showed you, you know what I mean, from day one. So, you know, I, I definitely tip my hat to Jay. Um, right. I would say Nas, of course. Yes, sir. Nas, of course. Oh, God, yeah. Can't leave Nas out, and this is this isn't in in, in no no order. You know, okay. What I mean? this is a, so the list is fluid, as they say. Yeah, it's fluid. Now. It's fluid. You know what I mean? So Nas Nas is different. You know what I mean? Nas, Nas is he's from a different planet. Yeah, he. Listen, backwards is one of my favorite records. I've never heard an MC paint a picture that clear, but in reverse, the creativity, the wordsmanship. You know what I mean? Nas is Nas. You know what I mean? He's 
Right. He's one of them guys. You know what I mean? And, and I've, been rocking, I've been rocking since, you know what I mean, since Illmatic. Illmatic. Yes, so, sir. So, you know, that's that's real. So Illmatic and Reasonable Doubt, just, just some insight. Those are two of my, my top favorite albums of all time. Okay. Um, and who who I'm gonna give? So you give five, five, two. So I'm gonna say Big Champ, right? Champ okay. is Champ is my favorite MC. The reason Champ is my favorite MC is because one, he official. Mm. Two, I can verify <laughs> everything he said is official. <laughs> everything he said in rhymes, he did it. He, he lives it. it. You right. know what I mean? He's fly. You know he's smart. He educated. He not he not coming with the nonsense, but he, he know how to make that bounce. He a yeah. true wordsman, you know what I mean. So, yeah, you know what I mean. He he's him. Uh, so I, I would give I would give Big Champ that 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 uh five slot. But if I had to pick somebody else, okay. If I had to pick somebody, a bonus else, one outside of Big Champ, we got Champ in the five, but we're gonna do a bonus one. Top five. Anybody out west? Anybody south? Any any Midwest? Anybody? No Nipsey, problem. Nipsey Hustle. Okay. So I was rocking with Nip before the world caught oh, no. wind in it, right? God bless him. You know what I mean? God bless, yeah. God bless his soul. The crazy thing about Nip was Nip was a visionary. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He he was from the streets. You know what I mean? So he was able to bridge. Street culture, gang culture, nine to five worker, hustler, everything, right? He made music that could talk to you, your entrepreneurial side, your your, your best Man. person. And you know what the crazy thing about Nip was? Nip mm. was far ahead of his time. So not only was he a book reader, you know what I mean? I got his list, a list of books that, you know what I mean, he actually read. He purchased yeah. read. When I say one, that that list was incredible. You know what I mean? So he he was one of the influences that that made me lock in and say, you know what? I need a bookshelf. Okay. And, and I, I literally been locking in ever since. But Nip was big on crypto. innovation and crypto, right? He he went his interviews that exist right now. You can see them on YouTube, things like that. Outside the music, you know what I mean? He he left a lasting impact that that put him there for me. You know what I mean? If I had to add an additional person, it nice. it would be Nip. You know what I mean? Not just for his lyricism. Nip was just, he was fly. He, he, you know, he just made sonic music. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was a perfectionist. And that, that album he put out right when he passed. Yeah, man. Masterpiece. Victory Lap Classic. That was a masterpiece. Start to finish, to finish. No skips. No skips. No skips. And it's hard to do that. It's hard to do that now with people's attention spans and, and the way they put out music. Big now, fact. start to finish. They curated that one. Flawlessly. So Nip, Nip definitely got that one. All right, man. Well, man, I hey, I can't I can't knock nobody on that list, man. I love the list, brother. I appreciate you. Champ, that hat you got on right there. I believe that's a that, that's another entrepreneur hat. I've been looking at that damn hat, man, the whole damn uh interview. Man, man whose hat is that? Where the hell could we get that man? That so hat, this, from, brother. So this is this is from Brooklyn right here. This is Beta. You know, what I mean, it's my man joint. B-I-T-A, it stands for Born in the Apple. You know what I mean? So if you look close, you see the city skyline and all that, but he did yes, suck the hats. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? He, he gets yes, busy. Sir. He up and he up and coming. So, you know, I had to show him some love. That's my guy. Big salute. Right. Check out my man. B. Check out Beatus joint right there. All right. Well, there it is. With Champ, man, it's been a pleasure, dog. Hey, you blessed the platform, sir. I'm going to bring you and, and Steve back. And this time we're going to do the slides because... Again, I didn't. I I got my ass got blown away by so much knowledge, and I became a financial nerd in like ten minutes on the message with Champ. Man, he didn't turn me to a crypto nerd in Let's ten go. minutes. So I was not prepared, man. But brother, thank you again. I want to say, man, God bless you for your mission. May He continue to prosper you, man. And you are so needed, man. On your rough days, just know, brother, you are needed, man. You are necessary. You and Steve, man. Man. Humbly appreciate you for that. Hey, y'all, hit that damn like, subscribe. Get, hey, go follow my dog, Big Champ. Go subscribe to him. Follow him. Get your daily updates. He's the Black Warren Buffett. He going to keep you right financially and take $50 before you take your ass to brunch. Take that $50 out and go put it aside 
and go sign up for Skype and learn you some free game, man. Learn you some game. Not free, but fifty dollars. Learn you some game. Let's hey, go. Cigar Chats and Mac. We out. Thank you.